Chaplin today? Yeah, yeah, I guess Bogaki's car broke down. Really? Reese is tagging in. Reese is the, the, the Philian spiritual advisor. <laughs> Yes, sir. I moved into the whole park. Tell me you're thinking about that. We left here when I left here Thursday after my experience at the hotel. I used to stay at the one right there by the time. He was here last week. My hair didn't work one night. Now he's having three different hair in the room. Is that the old Marriott Sheriff? No, it's the Sheriff's in the old court. Test, test. Real close here. I know a lot of the, the court people yeah, stay. Court, right. yeah. A lot of them stay at the park. They're a pretty good group of people year round. What do they don't allow in the short term? What's the place of it? It's that condo that's attached to the embassy suite. Oh, okay. So the roof of this is delivered to your room. You needed to just get an RV and move it next door to Bubba. I know. I'm on the back side of the building, though, and the trains are pretty loud back there. But they're, they're not they're as loud as they're close to that back wall for me. No, that's not as loud as yours. I mean, when I'm used to. When they bump, they bump. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are delighted to have the right reverend. The one and only Reese is going to be with us today. Thank you, Reese, for always being prepared and ready. Yes, sir. Uh, Doctor, for those who wonder where Doctor Bogalki would have been here, but he had a he broke down in his car on the way up yesterday. So uh, must have been a forward. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. Fix a repair. So uh, so that's why he's not here. Uh, and uh, good morning, commissioners, and I believe Commissioner Eccles is joining us, and so guten tag to him uh, for where he is. And uh, Good morning. <laughs> so I uh, spent a few uh, moments with you this morning I was, as I was preparing. I was thinking about a story I heard, and I love stories, but there was a, and I might date myself a little, for anybody that's under 40 or 45, you don't know Gomer Powell. But for those of us who know Gomer Powell, uh, I'm referencing a Gomer, Gomer Powell kind of character who was in airborne school, and he was real nervous. And um, his jump master told me, he said, look, Gomer, we're going to give you two parachutes. We're going to give you one on your back. We're going to give you a reserve chute in front. So if that first one doesn't open, don't worry. That second one's going to open. And he said, and when you get down here, he said, we're going to have a Jeep sitting right over here waiting on you to take you back. So you're going to be fine. So Gomer said, you know, basically, yes, Sarge, no problem. So Gomer goes up in the plane. And uh, sure enough, he jumps out of that plane, first chute doesn't open. Gomer's like, that's okay, I have a reserve. <laughs> you know? So Gomer pulls the uh, rip cord on that reserve chute. Sure enough, it doesn't open. And Gomer Paul looks at himself and says, you know what? I guarantee when I get down there, that Jeep's not going to be there either. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> the moral of the story is, besides the fact Gomer needs help, <laughs> is that uh, many times we focus on the wrong things. And sometimes we lose sight of the bigger picture. And so I'm going to read a little scripture this morning from the, uh, the Gospel of Luke, chapter 10. And uh, so uh, and talk about that for just a minute. And this is verse 38 of Luke, chapter 10. And it says, uh, Now as they went on their way, Jesus entered a village. And a woman named Martha welcomed him into her house. She had a sister called Mary, who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to his teaching. But Martha was distracted with much serving. And she went up to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Tell her then to help me. But the Lord answered her, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and troubled about many things, but one thing is necessary. Mary has chosen the good portion, which will not be taken away from her. So uh, as we look at these verses for just a minute this morning, uh, you know, Martha was a worker. It, it, and we're all workers. Some of us are state workers, some of us are industry workers, and, and our work is important. And uh, the things we do here are important. I, and not to belittle that, but uh, 
uh, spending some time at Children's Health Care a few years ago, and you see families come in with children that are sick, they're not worried about their work. Commissioner, you're in, you're in the funeral business, you know. You see a lot of people come in, and, and um, the things that seem to matter the most sometimes just aren't as important as we think they are. And, and this is what was going on. Martha, was it important for her to do the work that needed to be done to serve the people? Sure it was. But there was something that was more important, something that was of the utmost importance. And so what Jesus was trying to teach Martha was that, you know, we're all anxious and we're troubled about many things. And, and we can get distracted. But Jesus wanted to bring her focus back on what the most important thing was. And um, for us as Christians, for those that are Christian, one thing is necessary. Uh, there's coming a day, and uh, I pray it won't be very long, when the Lord will come back. And, uh, and, the, and the question is not going to be, how hard did you work? Where did you work? What did you accomplish in your work? But one thing's going to be necessary. And, and I pray that everybody in this room can say that they've chosen, like Jesus said, the good portion of what really matters. So uh, let's pray. Dear Lord God, thank you. We're just so thankful for this day. Thank you for all your blessings. Thank you for this time together. Thank you for bringing us all safely here. We pray for Dr. Begalke, uh in, in his situation. Just be with him and his family. And Lord, we just thank you for this commission. We thank you for the privilege for the employees of the state that are here to serve. And God, I pray we would be servants. Help us to have servant hearts, God, that uh, realize the uh, unique position we're in. Help us as we work with industry people uh, to do the best for the citizens of this state. And God, thank you so much for how good you are to us. And just bless us, bless this commission, bless this state and our country. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Reeves. Yeah. Thank Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we'll come to order at this time. This is the administrative session of the Georgia Public Service Commission, Tuesday, May the 7th, 2019. Uh, we have a cons consent agenda. Commissioners, is there any item on the consent agenda that you would like to have held or move to the regular agenda? Hearing none, all those in favor of adopting the consent agenda as presented signify by saying aye. 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 Hi. Hi. Opposed, like sign. The ayes have it 5 0 with Commissioner Eccles, Commissioner Pridemore, Commissioner Shaw, Commissioner Eaton, Commissioner McDonald voting in the, in, the, in the affirmative. We'll now move to the regular agenda R1, please. R1 is docket number three consideration of staff's request for commission approval to issue a request for a proposal for Audible and Universal Information Access Service Provider. As discussed in last telecom committee, staff recommends approval of the RFP date, which are included in your backup. Commissioners, any questions, please? All those in favor of the adoption of R1, signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, like sign, it's carried 5-0. R2, please. Item number R2 is docket number 24850, bandwidth.com, CLEC, LLC's application for a certificate of authority to provide competitive local exchange services. Consideration of staff's request for commission authority to issue data requests and furtherance of an investigation into possible unauthorized use of an automatic dialing and announcing device. Staff maintains its recommendation from committee. Commissioners, do you have any questions? All those in favor of staff's recommendation signify by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed, like sign. No. 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 The uh, committee's rec the staff's recommendation therefore fails. Voting the affirmative is Commissioner Pridemore. Voting in the negative is Commissioner Eccles, Eaton, Shaw, and McDonald. R three, please. Item <clears throat> item R3 is docket number 2748A. This is Georgia Power Company's 2015 RFP. Mass Georgia QF LLC has requested that Georgia Power consent to an assignment of its 10.5 megawatt PPA 
to an indirectly wholly owned subsidiary of Waste Management, Inc., pursuant to which uh, the, the PPA will be reflected to reduce its committed capacity to six megawatts. Parties have negotiated appropriate consent and assignment document, and staff recommends approval. Questions, commissioners? All those in favor of staff's recommendation on R3 signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, like sign. It's carried 5 0. Item R4, please. Item R4 is also docket number 27488. Uh, Mass Georgia QF LLC has entered into a purchase transaction with Air National Paper Company in where uh, Mass will sell its leftover megawatts to Air National Paper. Parties have negotiated the perfect consent and megawatt assignment document wherein Georgia Power has agreed to Mass's assignment of the leftover 4.5 megawatts to Air National Paper and the Sixth Amendment of the Port Wentworth PPA. Staff recommends approval of Georgia Power's filing. Questions, commissioners? All those in favor of staff's recommendation signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, like sign. It's carried 5 0. Administrative Affairs. Good morning, commissioners. You have a consent agenda before you. Any questions on the consent agenda, commissioners? All those in favor of adopting the consent agenda signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, like sign is 5 0 carried. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you. There is an internal affairs meeting 10 minutes after we uh, adjourn here this morning. It's on the second floor. Uh, of course, it's always open to the public. Uh, we'll be discussing uh, uh, with one of the state's attorneys uh, on uh, uh, what? Open records, yes. <laughs> I was about to say public affairs. Open records. Uh, there's possible that it might be uh, an executive part in this. We don't know at this time. It will require a motion by commissioners in order to do that. But uh, anybody's welcome. But it's, it's, it's open records. It's, we're getting a, an update on open, open records from the Attorney General's office. Is there anything else, commissioners, to come before this administrative session? If not, we stand adjourned. Thank you very much.